My next upload I'm going to share today is for the interest of young women and um, in the interest of women and children's rights. Um, as I've mentioned in all my uploads, there's a very treasonous offence occurring um, by a collective of individuals of spite, malice and immaturity. Um, since my birth, as a natural sentient of my descendants of Fernandez, O'Regan, O'Higgins, a very religious background, Quinlans are there, O'Sullivans are there, the Griffins, O'Connors, my hereditary is really fabulous and it's really interesting and I'm very proud of my ancestry and the offences that I'm experiencing with regard to the treasonous incidents that are occurring since I gave birth to a beautiful um, heir, a royal heir, in 2015 of McElligot from my paternal and from my matrimonial um, families. It was such a precious experience. Um, as I've mentioned throughout my uploads, um, this is a vendetta of hate crime ex I'm experiencing. There is the treason, there is the injustice, there is the obstruction, there is the defamation and every day I'm being violated in the most vile and inhumane way. It's repulsive, the circumstances I'm experiencing. Um, spiritual violence isn't pleasant but when people don't adhere to spiritual practices that's another serious matter. But to get to the crux of the issue for the interests of young women that are in any relationships, there's always um, an experience of energy and whatever, and sometimes there isn't. Um, there is a matter arising that is quite childish, and I feel quite silly sharing about this because um, it's, it's due to a mental matter of an individual and collective that are trying to impose upon my spiritual experience that I've had since I was born, since I've grown as a woman. Um, when I was born, um, my experience was prayed for. Um, I'm very fortunate to be as I am. I'm very healthy considering all the offences of medical negligence I've experienced. I'm a very grateful human being. I'm a very grateful adult. And I'm a very grateful woman to my ancestors that have always prayed for me. So um, there have been individuals that have been very rude. They've imposed and highlighted and publicised matters that they have had no discretion or courtesy about. And they've been quite shameless about what they've shared about. And I'm, I'm, I'm embarrassed to share this now, but it's important for young women to be aware of predators and parasites and imposters that intrude upon women in the personal space um, with a delusion of the mind that isn't rational and that isn't factual and that isn't reality based. Um, the issue of people involved in revenge porn, that's their personal choice. There's always consequences to revenge porn. There's also consequences to people that breach confidentiality about relationships. So for young women, I hope you're more conscious than I was when I was 21, 22, 23 and the individuals that are still preying on my privacy and claiming that um, they're a part of my experience. So the issue I'm going to just explain is that not only have these individuals trespassed into property, they have trespassed into property of mine. They have stolen information, personal information, personal belongings, etc. It's been quite serious, their um, offences. They have uh, falsified the experience of my present circumstance. They've orchestrated an awful occurrence of failed um, prayer groups in the community that have um, been on the streets of my hometown, on the streets of my hometown, um, in my own homes and in my current abode also. So this isn't a healthcare facility. This isn't another person's spiritual experience. 
Um, my bloodline is quite precious and my family and my child are quite precious. Everyone is precious. That's a spiritual, sentient, sacred opinion. Now, there are people like predators and parasites that impose upon a personal space and they don't respect boundaries and disrespect confidentiality and are hazards to life. That's really unacceptable to be obstructing women and children's rights and it's very serious to obstruct a child from his mother. Um, it's also quite serious when treason is occurring and it's also quite serious when protection and the laws of protection are violated. So there have been a, a group of predators upon my royal family that have been of ancestral assault, physical bodily integrity assault, um, spiritual assaults. I've experienced it all in the past three to four years and it's really it's astounding that all the failed attempts and upping the anti-mentality of the neuro neurosis of those individuals that are trying to lay claim to my hereditary, that are trespassing on my properties, that have disrespected my family unit and that have just caused an awful shambles in society since 2016. And this is in many respects. It's sociologically, it's culturally, it's historically, it's politically, it's legally, it's monetarily. They have damaged pillars of society and they have not been embarrassed or remorseful and they haven't been practicing by good procedures. So I'm experiencing individuals suffering from imposter syndrome and as a spiritual sentient being and as a recovery advocate I'm very concerned about the level of sanity and sobriety in society and I'm wondering about the offences and incidents of theft, trespassing and wrongdoings and negligence and misconduct that these individuals have conducted and that have not been addressed. So my protection spiritually, legally, morally, physically, etc. have been violated by individuals not recovering from their past and are very short-minded about the progress they have come through with regard to how they have exploited and manipulated and harmed for their own personal egotistical selfish malicious, malicious gains. So the issue I'm raising in this matter is for young women to just mind yourselves, care for yourselves, mind your boundaries and be mindful of my experience when 